Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations? We are giving f of x plus 2 equals x squared plus x minus 30. And what is f of minus 2? The first domain is f of x plus 2. And uh, what is f of x minus 2? So I'm going to be solving this in two different ways and step by step. Uh, for the first method, the right hand side here is a quadratic because of the power of 2. Then we are going to apply the form manipulation method as we are going to have f of x plus 2 equals, we have to factorize this completely, but from here, we have x squared plus x minus 30. This plus x is the middle term known as the sum. And why this last one, which is minus 30, is known as the product? We look for the two numbers that the sum will be 1 and the product will be minus 30. And the two numbers I can think of is minus 5 plus 6 because minus 5 plus 6 it gives us minus 1 and minus 5 times 6 it gives us minus 30 so therefore we are going to replace this as x squared plus 6x minus 5x then minus 30 so we are getting this we are going to have this as the group this x squared plus 6x and also we group this and uh, taking out minus we have 5x plus 30 so after a successive grouping then let's try and factor out what is common to both here we have x common taking out x we have this as x plus 6 and also minus we take out 5 from here and it gives us x plus 6 so x times x that is x squared x times 6 we have it as 6x also 5 times x that is 5x and 5 times 6 that is 30 so looking at this we have x plus 6 and this also x plus 6 which are common when we take one and we combine their coefficient the coefficient here is x minus 5 and also we have x plus 6 the result of all these are uh, equivalent to f of x plus f of x plus 2. So after we have gotten this, then we are going to make sure we manipulate x minus 5 and the x plus 6 so that we can get x plus 2 from them. And to manipulate that, we firstly write what we need. We need to get x plus 2. So we have taken this, but initially it was x minus 5. Therefore, we have to take out minus 7 from here. And also for the second one, we need x plus 2. And uh, it was plus 6. We have to add plus 4 to this. And everything is equivalent to f of x plus 2. Then it is now left to us to try and uh, replace x plus 2 with x. Anywhere we see x plus 2, we are going to change it to x. Therefore, we have f of x equals x plus 2 is not changing to x then minus 7 both are enclosed in a bracket multiply by also x plus 2 change to x then plus 4 so since we have have this then we have to change this x again to x minus 2 because the real problem says find x minus 2 so to get x minus 2, we are going to change every x to x minus 2. Therefore, this change to x minus 2 equals x here has now changed to x minus 2, then minus 7. And also, for x plus 4, it changed to x minus 2 plus 4. And after having this, we are going to expand this out as we have x minus 2 minus 7 that is minus 9 and this is x plus 2 
So minus 2 plus 4, that gives us plus 2. Then by expanding this, we are going to have a full quadratic equation as this is in a quadratic factor. Therefore, we have... So what we have was x minus 9 and uh, x plus 2. So expand this out by multiplying x with x plus 2. Here we have x bracket x plus 2 and also we have minus 9 bracket x plus 2. So I'm solving this step by step. Here equals x times x, that is x squared plus x times 2, we have it as 2x. Then we have minus 9 times x, that is minus 9x minus 9 times 2, that is minus 18. So getting this, we have x squared plus 2x minus 9x, this gives us minus 7x, then minus 18. So this is the result of f of x minus 2. So just simple as it is, but just like um, I was able to show it step by step so that you not mix any single step out. Let's see another beautiful way of solving this. I mean, the concise and the simplest way of solving this same problem step by step. So here is method two. Uh, in this second method, I'm going to be applying the replacement of the values directly instead of form manipulated. Here we have f of x plus 2. If I want to get x minus 2 here, because we have to find x minus 2 straight, it's just like we'll be replacing every single x with x minus 4. As we change this one to x minus 4 only, we are going to have x minus 2, and it's going to reflect in other side as well. Before that, let me write the question as x squared plus x minus 30. Then every single x will be replaced by x minus 4, then plus 2. So this equals x minus 4 squared plus x minus 4 and uh, minus 30. Here we have f of x minus 4 plus 2, that is x minus 2 equals, if you expand this out, we are going to get x squared minus 8x plus 16. And also, x minus 4 minus 30, this gives us plus x minus 34. And after having this, we have x squared minus 8x plus x, that is minus 7x, then minus, we have plus 16 minus 34, that is minus 18. We got the same answer in less than 2 minutes. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.